Welcome back to Majestic Bonsai and uh, this time we're going to be doing some maintenance again as usual on a species of tree I'm going to call unknown. Um, I used to remember what this was, I don't any longer and uh, so hopefully uh, I'll figure that out down the road and perhaps uh, it'll get posted again on here uh, with more work. So you can see it's very bushy, very overgrown and uh, during hot days it'll have a hard time keeping up with that growth as well or I have to be watering more often. Uh, so uh, let's get started. We're just gonna do some maintenance on it. I'm gonna do a quick pruning. Uh, I'm gonna stop the camera for that and then uh, come back. That'll save some viewing time. Uh, it seems like so many people uh, are in a hurry these days and uh, have a hard time affording the time to watch. So uh, hopefully this will help. Okay. Be right back. Okay, and so I've got the trimming uh, basic outline shape done. So let's go ahead and dig in. And I'm going to start with these uh, bottom shoots down here at the bottom I want to get rid of. some of this moss. Now, if you're wondering what kind of moss this is, this is Irish moss. And I'm betting pretty heavily that uh, a lot of people that do bonsai won't care for Irish moss. It is very aggressive. It spreads extremely easily. Uh, the flowers have a bunch of seeds that develop and, uh, and then it gets all over the place. Um, I actually don't mind it. I find more good with it than I do harm, so, uh, and it's pretty. So I just try to work with it a bit. Okay, now might be a good time. I need to bring up a chair. Some things I, I need to do standing, and that's fine. But if I can sit and relax and enjoy it more, uh, it's worth doing that, so. Just getting the ends of these stems I cut, so they're not poking out. So I probably trimmed one I should have left. That's okay. Right. By most times, if you make a cut that uh, you shouldn't have or that you regret, uh, in most cases, a tree is pretty forgiving. Uh, the way I, I treat them, especially, I find I'm not super aggressive on the trees most of the time. And so. Uh, if I do make a mistake, the tree will come out of it and give me something else I can use. Oftentimes, something better. Okay. Let's pull up a chair. work. Now if you ever get to the point, <coughs> excuse me, I find this happens with me from time to time, um, especially if I'm doing someone else's tree, but sometimes, uh, sometimes my own too. If they've gotten really overgrown, uh, sometimes it can be pretty overwhelming as to uh, what to keep and what not to keep. and, and where to even start sometimes. And so when that's a question, um, I find it helps one to start with the basic outline. So that's what I do is I just trim the basic outline 
uh, and that's where you see it look bushy. I pause it, come back, and you see it not quite as bushy. Um, and then what I try to do is figure out, okay, what belongs, what doesn't. Oftentimes, branches going straight down, you don't want. Uh, branches going straight up, oftentimes you don't want. Um, leaves in the crotches, like right here is a crotch, there's a leaf. Uh, you know, you could take that out if you had, you know, something growing in between these, these points here uh, in these crotches. Then again, that's something you could consider getting rid of. Um, you know, for instance, this piece here. Uh, it's really not offering anything. It's straight as anything. Um, and so when you do you go through the whole tree that way, um, you've gotten to know it a little bit better. And by the time you're done, it's slightly thinner and easier to see what needs to be done. Uh, these are the steps that help me when that happens, when, when it's a bit overwhelming. And uh, it's just good to remember and refresh yourself with those steps sometimes. Piece growing way in there, straight as anything, walking the view. Same with here, just gonna go through and cloak all that tall stuff out of there. tree there. Take it down to there. Actually, I'm going to take it down a little further. I think there might be better. I could take that down and leave it like that for now. Trim it down to right there. I'm betting that's coming in very loud and clear on the uh, on the camera phone there. The little crow. ever not sure just how far you want to cut something off, just do it in smaller increments until you decide if it matches the whole uh, thing that you're trying to accomplish. But look. Eventually things will sort themselves out and it will become clear. having a circle around because I'm trying to decide if I'm liking what I've got and what to do next. So 
was a chemical fertilizer in there somewhere. You know, this camera setup is probably not the best. Eventually, uh, I'd like to get some better camera or something and give me more angles and better viewing experience. Hopefully, that'll happen down the road. But my channel grows enough, maybe it'll support that. So you'll see me go back and forth sometimes on this, and that's just what I have to do to determine what's going to stay, what's coming out next, if I like something or don't. I'm probably mostly going to go with that. It's not looking too bad. And under this leaf, I've got this kind of a little bit of a curled leaf. Normally I'd take that off, but I've got a spider under there, and I'm going to leave that. The spiders do so much good for your bonsai trees, keeping the bugs off. And they're worth more than their weight in gold, in, in my opinion. Yeah, I think that's just about So, you just do get the spin around again. Just to make sure the camera's on this time. Last time I did a video, it stopped on its own. I don't know how, but okay. So, just give me the slow, slow spin around. That's pretty much it. So eventually it'll get a little more work and a little more and a little more and take that straight piece off there and that one. I think that's gonna be significantly better. You know, all that's left is to water it. And I'll probably do that later at some point. I do have three pieces here at this junction. I'm tempted to Take that one off, bring it up. So I'm gonna just do that real quick. There we go. All right, so that's it. Let's see how it's coming in. So it's got potential. We'll get it there eventually. More and more and more refined. Thank you for joining me. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks again.